This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. A couple months ago, we faced a major setback when a fire tragically broke out during the night at our workshop eventually engulfing everything by the morning. Since then, it's been a gigantic pain dealing with insurance, with some of our coverage being rejected, and now being forced to challenge it legally in what is likely going to be a slow and drawn out process. So after much delay, finally needed to move on and clear out the garage and see what actually survived and what might be recoverable. So it's been two months, about time to finally clean this up. Got the dumpster here and uh, have a very depressing ribbon cutting ceremony. But first, if you ever find yourself in, let's say, a hypothetical situation where a large part of your personal property, your car, and your business were destroyed, maybe it could help to have someone to talk to, like today's sponsor. This past year has been difficult for everyone. I know I felt it with the extra isolation, the financial challenges, and just a whole lot of extra chaos in the world. Sometimes it just feels really overwhelming and you just need someone you can talk to. But there are options out there to help and get you a assistance in as little as 48 hours. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not always be present locally in many areas, and the service is accessible worldwide. You can log in to your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. It's a very affordable option compared to traditional counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash HTME, that's better H-E-L-P, and join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash HTME. Don't hit that. This oh, acid. The first casualty we find is my bike. My bike was hanging right in front of the door, so it got most of the blast. Got one pedal, brake lines. I don't know what that was. It was the front of it. A little melted aluminum. Handlebar. That's some fiberglass. Gear changer. Some of the spokes. Here's the lock. Maybe usable. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here's part of the tire. That must have been aluminum. If it's aluminum, I didn't stand much of a chance. Everything else survived. Definitely seen some better days. Salvageable? <laughs> totally. Right. Fire extinguisher. My attempt to fight the fire did not work out so well. Maybe we can salvage this, at least make like a metal crucible or something out of it. What is this? Oh, this is my paddleboard. <laughs> Sad. Don't think that'll float anymore. And yeah, what's left of our oxy-selling welder. I doubt they're salvageable. Maybe we can repurpose them for something, but I wouldn't put flammable gas in them. <laughs> uh, torch. Almost seems salvageable. I don't know what to Some ingot molds that survived. Pretty much fully intact. They did not form any ingots. <laughs> Apple box isn't looking too good. One side's good, though. Good as new. All right, I got a wood planer here, electric one. Not looking too good. Kind of gotten a little smushed and stuff fell on it. All right, so this shelf is pretty much completely gone. Everything fell. I have to dig through that. But these shelves are, for the most part, intact. This is the compass. Body made out of bronze. Lasted all right. Face on it has completely melted, but the rest of it's pretty good. Very hefty piece. Should be able to salvage that. Gas mask tube. The bamboo itself has survived. Mostly. I'm surprised the string is still here. That's interesting. It just disintegrates. So I guess it's not really there. Just the charred remain of it. Don't think that's usable. I don't even know where the actual mask for it went. Looks like it's just gone. That was, I don't know what this was, but it's gone now. I have a variety of pottery that's actually pretty, pretty much untouched. This is one of the first bottles we fired. It was wood fired. That might be why it survived. I'm gonna probably scrub this off and get the nice glaze back still even. I'm glad that survived. Ostrich egg has cracked and shattered, so I don't think it's gonna be too good. It smells gross. I had a rock of obsidian, it's like it's shattered. I'll probably salvage the obsidian itself for future use. It survived pretty good. This was from Dax, I think. It held up. Fireproof. The obsidian in there. No idea what that was. Start the pottery here. I might have cracked the bottom one. That also might have already been there. These all seem to be intact. That's good. 
we got a bell still. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that subscription notification. The abacus has seen some better days. Actual pieces seem okay though. Maybe salvage that someday. Oops. Oil bottles and at least made back in the day. They seem to all be intact. It still has liquid in it. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably oil. I think that's olive oil. It survived. Interesting. Some of the remains of a tablet. A little bit of writing here. A few letters. For my language, you can just barely make out. An interesting artifact. We'll save a couple of bigger pieces. So some sort of rock. <laughs> Seems like glass. So it's either obsidian or some of our glass attempts. Yeah, of course, everything's black now, so it's hard to judge. Funnel, still good. Already cracked. This pottery, also good. This is one way to clean them out. This one might have some cracks in it, but... I think that's intact. This is from Dax. We haven't even had a chance to use it yet. Glad that survived. Here's a fermenting vat. This was already broken. He actually sent me a new one. I drug my feet actually picking it up from the post office, so it wasn't in here. So that's good news. Not too salvageable. Add it to a future grog pile, I guess. And four is oh, heavy. Ah, that survived pretty good. I can still see the inscription on it. I wonder if that'll come off. It might be glazed on there actually, but we can see if we can clean that up, see if we can get back the design. We have a big pot here that did not make it. We got the bottle from the soda episode. That one survived pretty good. And then we got a stack of plates. I think most of these are busted to begin with. That crack was already there. That was a pretty nice bowl, so I'm glad it survived. These ones are both intact. So a lot of the pottery made it, which makes sense. It never really got that hot. What's that from? I don't know. Snail did it. Big rock. A fool's gold we got in Utah. As far as it didn't break up. Pirate's pretty brittle. Once you heat it up, it usually just kind of explodes. Let's see if we can clean that up or something. The ceiling. Here's a meridum. That survived. I think that's the charcoal we already had in there. Completely salvaged. That's nice. Pieces of ceiling. This is something. I think this is a bottle gourd. Flammable. Got one of the other fermenting vats. Some of the wax has melted and accumulated at the bottom, but still good. Our room here. All right, so here we have the wall of tools, and you can see what a few things are still on there. And you can tell what was there. It's kind of interesting. It's a dry knife Adri made us. Caps on them. Handles seem to be a bit busted. Very rusted, but I think we really get that back to pretty much good as new. So we have the axe head, pretty much intact. It looks head should definitely be salvageable. I don't think that's worth keeping. And then we got the saw, still hanging up, very rusty, but should be able to clean that up. Should be good as new. The file survived. I don't know how reusable that'll be. It's rusted all the file parts. Right, let's see what fell down. This looks like the plum bob. That did not survive. That's disappointing. Let's see if I can find Bob. Where'd you go, Bob? Should have survived. I don't know if it'll be possible to find it in all this mess. Centipedes. And the bugs have moved in. There's the pole saw, definitely rusted up. Should be salvageable, handles even, probably salvageable too. Here's a bronze ax, oops, toast, but still <coughs> shiny in parts. Ditch the handle, I guess. Plastic. Plastic. It's like glass. Oh, that's from the hourglass, I think. Here's the base of it. Not too much left of that guy. Oh, this is the actual sand. Here's the top of it, I think, yeah. That's too bad, I like that thing. It's like metal, no, it's plastic. Hardwood and plastic. It's a rock. I don't think that has any significance. No, it's just part of the wall. Oh, this is the bronze draw knife. Handles are completely gone, but bronze survived. Might as well keep it. Handle to something. Got the trash can cups. These survived mostly, actually. Lid right here. Oh. That's a nice one to keep. A little archaeological dig. The Pell Stab Axe. Yeah. Oh, hammer. I think these are both hafted. <coughs> That's the tip of that one knife. Yeah, I found a little mouse. Toby has not been doing her job. He's pissed. Yeah. He saved your life. Which is another one. Here he goes. 
Or are you gonna let him go? I'm not outside here. Yeah, it's on go. Ugh. Hydraulic press stand. Might still be salvageable. Well, springs don't look too good. Ugh. Entertainment stand. Hold the monitor when I'm filming. I wonder where the TV went. I think this is it. Not a very good TV. Let's see what we have over here. Put some pottery. Stick of something. Yeah. Antelope horn. From the bow. Looks like it's pretty much toast. This is a spear. I wonder if we can find this spearhead somewhere. Here's, here's a compound bow. Ooh, don't think that's surviving. And yeah, the bone's all burnt up. That's a total loss, I think. Should be one more bow. That was the self bow. It might be entirely burned off. Some pottery here is waiting to be fired. Sounds like I made it. Oh, here's the itty bitty hammer. So uh, there's an awl, spoon, I wonder what that was, I don't think they're good. They have the test square of the line of thorax, put it through the ultimate test I guess. Still standing. Cat tail, baskets, this is some of the tubing from the mask. Quite hard and brittle now. Stick. Somehow, looks like the twine survived, some of it at least. Camera battery, don't think that's good anymore. Some basket of some plies here. We got this is charcoal. It's still charcoal, so still usable, I guess. Beeswax, I think. That's no resin. Melted into one big block. Beaker looks like it's still good. Beeswax. It's also melted into a big block. All right, here's the expensive stuff. Some of our camera equipment that got shoved over here. Some of the lens wipes. Oh, those are good. Diffusion cloth. Don't think that's usable. It has some actual camera lenses. Might actually be usable. It's probably full of ash though. That doesn't look too good. Probably not. Little tripod. This actually looks usable. Yeah, that might be salvageable. Another mount. Looks pretty good too. A zoom lens. Maybe. Probably a pretty long shot. Those are good. Battery. It works. You just need to charge it. Might be good. That looks pretty good. Lens cap doesn't look too bad. USB cord, a little rusty. Probably not usable. I think these batteries are good. Do you want to risk it? Don't want the camera to explode. Looks usable still. These all look good. Battery pack. Looks a little scorched. That's probably bad. Light. That looks pretty warped. There's that missing task cam. They might all be good. Right, let's see what fell behind. If you can find that spearhead at least. Ah, I found it right here, wedged against the wall. Spearhead. No sign of the of the bow. I'm pretty sure that was on the wall. So that thing might be completely gone. At least we have the arrowhead or the spearhead here. So it looks like the stone wheel is still intact. A little shard, but. Still one piece. Weird banding on the back from the wood it was against. Propane forge is looking a little rough, but it might be salvageable. I mean, it's designed to be fireproof. Propane tank's probably dead. The lining's still halfway decent. I think this was a wood chipper. And the box bellows don't look too good. Seen better days. Got the anvils. They're still solid, but probably lost their heat treat, so might have to try and heat them and salvage them, possibly. That one's probably lost its heat treatment, too, so maybe it can be re reheated. I don't know. Just bought that. Barely used it. Most of the tongs and stuff have survived. All rusted up. At least one of the hammers. Oh, here's my hammer. So that survived. The forge itself is it's all here. I don't know how we'll be able to salvage it if we have to rebuild. Might have to disassemble the entire thing and rebuild it or something. All right, then over here is where we have like our, our more modern tools when we need them. Two different miter saws, a drill press, sander, bench grinder, whole pegboard that was full of tools that is now fallen down. A bunch of miscellaneous things. I have to pick through and see. Everything's probably dead. These are uh, herb chopping axes I was gonna give away to patrons and keep not having time to actually do it. I guess it's more rustic and they, they are still here, so those are still coming, I guess. <laughs> and all the handles for them. So these burn just enough to be not really usable. Lots of stuff. 
expensive camera tripod. Uh, all the components are melted. I think the legs are still good. I don't know if there's anything worth salvaging, but it's an expensive tripod. Pottery kiln, a little rough, but it's designed to withstand temperatures, at least on the inside. I think the elements are intact, at least. The cord's toast. I don't think the controls are gonna work. Most of the internals are fried, but essentially gonna replace that and salvage it. Here's a metal melt furnace. Just bought this. Yeah, the controls are melted out. So we'll still get at least. Possibly can salvage something, but not much. Let's start cleaning out the floor. We have the fridge. Just stocked it. Let's see if we have any beverages left. There we go. What is this? It's Dr. Pepper. Still fresh. If you clean up the lid, they probably are still good. They're still pressurized and everything. Yeah. now and gotten what we can salvage and what is pretty much just a loss. A fair amount of things have survived. Pretty much anything that's metal, the bronze, pretty much untouched. Just some patina on the outside. Anything iron is very rusted now, kind of burned off the protective coat. So I have to do a lot of rust removal, probably redo all the wood handles. Most of them are pretty much toast. This is about 50% of the ceramics ended up surviving, which is Pretty good, I think. Anything made out of wood, like the abacus, is mostly toast. So, should be able to start the long process of cleaning things up and rebuilding them. Got a collection of our store-bought modern tools that potentially can be salvaged. Um, very rusty, can't even open it. Got like a whole uh, bin of files. Probably not too usable now, but these will make a good starting stock for future knives and such. And uh, still got giant melted plastic bins that I gotta pry apart and figure out what's inside. Lots of fun. Here's our basically pile of power tools that uh, probably not much can be done with. So let's just keeping that for insurance to reference what we lost. So now it's just a matter of figuring out what, what exactly we're gonna do next. Kind of a little split on if we try and salvage the foundation and maybe some of the walls, or if we just start completely from scratch and redo the foundation. Pros and cons to both. Lots of options, and uh, fortunately, thanks to everybody's donations, we can actually afford some of them, so we aren't forced to make do. In the process, we did find a fair amount of our old projects, and I think probably try and do like a second round of the auction of some of the fire survived items and uh, give people a chance to bid on some of those. So this is, this is where things are at. Things are cleaned up, I guess. So that's, that's a good first step. I think I'll do kind of regular updates as things move along. I'll go from here and hopefully start rebuilding. Hopefully it won't take too long to get started on that. But thanks again to everybody for your support, both on the GoFundMe, the auction and Patreon and anything we do in the future. Um, really really helps and just psychologically is very reassuring um because it's a very difficult situation to lose all of this and have to start over but uh, thanks again for everybody's support and thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics also if you've enjoyed these series consider supporting us on patreon we are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going Thanks for watching.